And we are just about set for football here in Music City, USA. Glad to have you with us on Crimson Tide Pay-Per-View. Luke fields it at the 12. Can't find much running room as he's taken down right at the 22. Bama starts in the I formation and will throw on first down. Triandos Luke makes the grab, takes it out across the 32, knocked down by Hurley Harrison. Second and very short play action for the Tide and another completion to Triandos Luke who steps out of bounds right at the 40 yard line and that will be good for the Alabama first down. Third down, call it five now for Alabama. Beard stays in the game alongside Watts in the gun. Tyler looks, lobs to the far side for Collins, but overthrown. However, there is a flag down on the play. One of the Commodores jumped to count too soon, I believe. Good protection for Watts. Swing it out to Shawd Williams. Slips a tackle. Inside the 35, brought down at the 32-yard line. Dominique Morris on the stop. Back to the eye now on first down at the Commodore 32. Williams right up the gut. Inside the 20, near the 18-yard line, and another Alabama first down. Santonio San Beard back in there, dotting the eye. Watts wants to throw, rifles that one complete to the far side in Triando's loop. Watts working from the shotgun. He'll keep it, up the gut, and score! Touchdown, Alabama! An impressive drive for Alabama. And the breeze may have had something to do with it. Johnson gets the high snap down, gets the punt away, a low tumbling kick. But Shawd Williams will just cover around the 32-yard line. First down, Alabama. Beard in the backfield. Option look. Watts will keep it. Lumbers out to the 39-yard line. Tripped up by Aaron Carter. Watts from the shotgun. Underneath, completes it to Sam Collins. Out near the 48-yard line, he takes a shot. They need nine yards to keep this drive going. Pressure comes, Watts unloads. It is caught by Triandos Luke. Punting with a torn ACL. On a day like this, it can't help things. Inside the 10 and downed. Well done for Lane Bearden, who will now hop off the field to the Alabama bench. Vanderbilt, though, has been very successful with the run, surprisingly well between the tackles, but most of it coming on the option. Third down, they'll roll Cutler. Throws underneath, and that one's caught. Out across the 20, good for the first down. Moves the chains, gives the doors a little breathing room. Out at the 22-yard line now. Give it to Tant, the quick hitter. Springs it out to the 29-yard line. Good gain on first down. Give it to Tant one more time, and he'll have the first down. Out to the 33 before Freddie Roach trips him up. Second down and 10 for the doors. Option look, Cutler keeps and is dropped for a loss. Thought about pitching it at the last moment, but Cornelius Wortham may have had him by the arm and not allowed him to get rid of the football. Brandon Smith, usually one of the more sure-handed receivers at Vanderbilt Head. We talked about some of the big third down catches he made. That is a touchdown if he catches it. Johnson, another low, wobbly kick. Williams scoops it up at the 30. Beard to punt for the second time. Grant Brigham back deep. Tumbling kick. Taken in at the 30. Short return. High formation on first down. Play action for Cutler. Rolling again, throwing on the run, and picked off. Wayne Bacon comes sailing in. Perhaps an ill-advised ill pass that time by Cutler. And the Tide, with 14 consecutive games, they've caused a turnover. 
Brody Coyle back out there as Bama starts at the Commodore's 43-yard line. Coyle guns that one complete to Sam Collins near the 20, and that's good for a first down. This will be a 36-yard try and would be his long of the year. Plenty of leg and good. So Alabama takes advantage of the turnover. You figure <laughs> it's got to be red and white, right? Doster over the left side, finds some running room out across the 40. That's good for a first down. Nice running by Kone Doster. Sean Williams camping out at his own 10-yard line. High, wobbly kick, fairly short again. Takes another Vandy roll, scooped up by Williams on the run. He'll take it out to the 26-yard line. So a risky play, but it pays off. And they think he might be the most talented that they have in this young crop. Some awfully good defenses the last few years here in Nashville. Bearden, beautiful punt, gets it to turnover. Taken in at the 25-yard line. Punting time again for Greg Johnson. No pressure and gets away a boomer. His best kick of the day by far. Rolling into the end zone. 70 yards for Greg Johnson. Beard, the lone setback as Watts runs the option and will keep it. Takes a shoulder out of bounds at the 29-yard line. He gains nine. Third and short. Hudson did not get the first down. Watts on the quarterback keeper will move the chains. Five carries, no yards for Santonio Beard. Option look out of the gun and Ray Hudson, the speed back for Alabama, out near the 40-yard line. Play action this time. Watts rolls and throws. Complete to Greg McLean, the fullback. Barreling inside Vanderbilt territory. Brought down at the 48-yard line by Hunter Hillenmeyer. Under two minutes now in the first half. Watts, the quick throw on the roll. Finds Triandos Luke, everybody's favorite target here in the first half. And he's close to another first down at the 38. That's what Vanderbilt wants you to do. They want to force you into that mistake by just uh, trying to outweigh you, play chicken with you. Watts, the pump fake, now goes deep to Luke, wide open inside the 10. Hit from 36 earlier, and he bangs that one through as well. So Robinson, now four out of five on the year in field goals. Carl Torbush has to be pleased with his defensive performance again this week. Pitching a shutout here in the first half. Cutler will take a knee. Alabama has not recorded a shutout in its last 65 games. That goes back to a 20 to nothing shutout of Vanderbilt here in Nashville in 1997. That'll do it for the first half. The Tide and the Commodores head off the field with Alabama leading it 13 to nothing at the break. Once again, three and out for the Doors. Stricker, 10 catches, 237 yards and a touchdown in his career against Alabama. But as Willie said, no catches for him today. Punt by Johnson, another short tumbling kick. Williams fields it on the run. I formation. On first down, Santonio Beard, the most daylight he has seen today, darts out for about eight yards on first down. He's the lone setback now on second and short. Watts rolls, wants to throw, in trouble, tucks it and runs, and is close to the first down. Second down and 10 from the Vandy 43. Option pitch to Hudson. <laughs> Ridden out of bounds at the 36, about three yards shy of the first down. Quick throw and the catch made by Triando Sloop. Brought down at the 30-yard line. That is his eighth catch of the day. Shotgun for Watts. Good protection. Now he's going to tuck it, try and run for it. 
keeps his feet, dives forward, and will have the first down. So Mr. Watts is now sixth on the quarterback rushing list, over 1,000 yards. Congratulations. They'll hand it off to Shaw Williams, finds a little gap, and takes it down to the 13-yard line. Jonathan Shaw may have saved a touchdown there as Williams found a little crack and almost broke it for a touchdown. He was rushed for 230 yards in a game in his career as a freshman at Texas Tech. He gets the carry again, more daylight inside the 10 and close to another first down before Hillenmeyer brings him to the ground. Fulgham breaks out of the formation to give to Williams. Finds a hole and scores. Touchdown. Easily the biggest hole opened up by the Alabama offensive line in the ball game. Just under seven minutes to play here in the third quarter. Protection breaks down, but he completes the pass. M.J. Garrett on the grab, and he'll have a first down. Second down and six. They give it to the fullback, Tamp. Upended at the 35, but that's good for another first down. Wayne Bacon takes his legs out from under him, but not before. The red shirt freshman moves the chains. On first down, play action for Cutler. Pressured, throws that one up, and hauled in. Nice grab over the shoulder catch by Tant. He's out of bounds. The give to Doster. Able to keep his feet. Ball is loose. Alabama says they've got it, and they do. It's been seven years since Alabama has had one of those. After the timeout, Watts wants to throw on first down. Dangerous pass, but somehow Triandos Luke steps in to make the catch. Second and short, give it to Shaw Williams, who spins forward to the 30-yard line, and that will be good for the Alabama first down. The loss to Oklahoma, sitting at one and one. Ray Hudson on a little misdirection, breaks it outside. Across the 45 to the 47-yard line. Good pickup for Ray Hudson. Play action. Throws complete to David Cavan, his tight end, who is back. Seeing a little more playing time after missing for the last five game with injury. Option out of the shotgun. Flags come in as Williams is upended near the 30, but this one will likely come back. Holding gets the offense, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay first down. Down the middle, caught by Fulgham, and a first down as he takes a pot, but hangs on. This would be his career long. Got the leg, and good. So Robinson, the junior out of Cleburne, Texas. Roman Harper stripped the ball, Tant picking it up, saving the turnover as Johnson boots it away. Shaw Williams at the 32, gives a little ground and darts up to the 40-yard line. First down, Brody Coyle in the game now for the Tide. Unload, that's made by Fulgham at the Commodore 41-yard line. Justin Gibney on the tackle. Redshirt freshman out of Rainbow City, Westbrook Christian High School. Play action. Wants to go deep, wide open, Fulton, and he will score. Touchdown, Alabama. 41 yards. Second half has really been dominated by Alabama with the exception of the one drive that Vandy had the regrettable turnover on. Williams falls in the punt. Flags fly in as Shaw spun down inside the 40. As an A-back, kind of a new position this year. Illegal block in the back against the receiving team. 
10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. Get some youngsters some playing time. J.B. Klausner, redshirt freshman into the game at center now. Coyle in trouble and goes down way back at the 26. As Vanderbilt tried to answer and then the drop potential touchdown pass by Brandon Smith in the first half for Vanderbilt. Bearden gets the punt away, sends Brigham back to the 21. He drops the ball and then covers it up quickly. Second and 10. Cutler sets up the screen back to Doster. Gets a block on the outside. Finds some running room. In the Bama territory and an odd soldier all the way down the field to make the tackle at the 35. Up to the 44-yard pickup. Cutler rolls, guns, caught by MJ Garrett. Down to the 12. Doors need eight yards. Keep the drive going. Cutler rolls, throws, touchdown. Dan Stricker. First catch of the day for Stricker. Gets the doors on the board. Cutler again on the rollout. Fires complete for the two-point conversion. Brandon Smith, the sliding grab in the end zone. Grant Brigham awaits. Tumbling kick for Beard, and he gets a nice roll out of it. I've seen a lot of those punts today. End over end. Listen, we, we know we want you out there. You got a lot of guts, but how are you feeling? Are you are you to the point where somebody else needs to get you? Antoine Odom gets into the backfield and drops Cutler for a loss. Sean Williams awaits at his 40-yard line. Another low, wobbly kick. That one kind of checks up. Williams, another risky play, but able to haul it in. Vanderbilt tried to take away the running game. Tyler Watts did it, not only on the ground, but through the air as well, and picked up, of course, that huge fourth and eight on the team. Sean Williams. As flags come sailing in in the secondary as plays was blown dead. Good ball, personal foul against the defense. The player is ejected. 15-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. Automatic first down. Wow. A lot of times you catch the guy who tries to retaliate. That's usually the rule of thumb. Pennington tiptoeing his way through the line. To the 45-yard line. Auburn a win today over Ole Miss. Ray Hudson breaks it outside. Tackle right at the 40-yard line. That will be good for a first down. Semaji getting helped off the field with the bad ankle. Pennington keeps it again. Looking for running room, not finding a whole lot. But that should be the last play of the ball game. As Alabama will not snap it again. Solid performance for the Crimson Tide. Dennis Franchoni has to be pleased with kind of the workmanlike approach his team took to this ball game, coming off the big emotional win in Knoxville last yeah. weekend, and able to come out and dispose of Vanderbilt, the team that always gives Alabama a lot of trouble. Oh, I, you know this was a coach's nightmare coming in for him as far as the mental side of the game, the preparation, because all of the emotion last week in Knoxville, they were able to put it behind them and take care of business against a team that did challenge them last year. And it's traditionally a place where Vanderbilt uh, plays Alabama tough. But I, I like the word you used, workmanlike. It was methodical. They didn't lose their patience. They took what the defense gave them, and they, they picked up the big plays when they needed to on third down. And little by little, uh, the green rose to the top. They wore Vanderbilt down, and and kind of broke their spirit, let the defense do most of the work.